it's a cornerstone of Connect Ed. It starts with the amazing iPad app, Swift Playgrounds, which we just announced in, in June. And what this does is it teaches Swift, our popular programming language, to all of these kids in a simple, fun, and interactive way. Already, since June, more than 100 schools and school districts around the world have already planned to teach Swift Playgrounds this fall. It's unbelievably exciting to us. We are so excited that they've moved to put this in their curriculum so, so quickly. Now, I'd like to talk to you about one other very important tool in education, and that is iWork. Of course, iWork provides a suite of productivity tools which are very popular in education, but also in business and consumers. Teachers and students love creating stunning documents and presentations, and even spreadsheets. I'd like to invite Susan Prescott, our Vice President of Worldwide Apps Product Marketing, to tell you what's next with iWork. Susan? Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Pages, Keynote, and Numbers are built to take advantage of iOS, macOS, and of course, our amazing devices. And iWork is all about making beautiful and engaging documents. But for people who want the power of iWork, there is just not a great way for them to work with classmates or colleagues to create projects together. But today, I'm very excited to announce and introduce real-time collaboration. In all the iWork apps, the exact same apps you use on your Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Of course, we use them too. Even our big presentations, like this one, are built using Keynote, which got me thinking we could edit slides right here, right now. We have never edited a deck live on stage before. I think the reasons are obvious. But we are so excited to show you our real-time collaboration. We're going to do it. So we'll start by hitting escape to go from play mode into edit mode so we can add a couple of slides about collaboration. If I go to the participants list, I can see my colleagues I've already invited to work on the deck with me. We've got Greg, Leslie, Michelle, and Rodney. They each have a color associated with them. So when they actually begin editing, you'll see a colored bubble come up with their name. Now get ready, because we're going to be adding images, graphics, text, and even animations all in real time. I'm going to start by adding a slide. Leslie can bring in an image. That one looks perfect. And Michelle can add a graphic of an iPad would be ideal. That looks great. I think you get the idea. So let's watch as everybody gets to work. Remember, this is happening live. And look how super responsive it is, even with the beautiful visuals that make iWork documents stand out. And you can work from your Mac, your iPad, your iPhone, or even the web. It's amazing. I see in the, in the thumbnails that Greg's added a new slide, which is fantastic. And of course, we're collaborating together, so I can also edit anything here. But it looks like we're about ready so let's take a look. You ready? Wow. That looks amazing, and it could only happen working together. That is just a very quick look at real-time collaboration in iWork. It'll change the way you work with classmates, with colleagues, and with friends. You're going to love it. Thank you so much. Thanks, Susan.
So that's a little bit about education and some things that are really important to us. I'd now like to turn to new products, beginning with Apple Watch. We started shipping Apple Watch just 18 months ago, and already people all over the world are using it in many aspects of their daily lives. It's the best way to get notifications so you don't miss that urgent phone call or message. You can quickly and conveniently pay for things with Apple Pay. And we couldn't be happier that so many people are using it to become more active and healthy. Apple Watch has really changed what people expect from a watch. Before Apple Watch, these were the top watch brands in the world as measured by sales revenue. This is what happened after we launched Apple Watch. In, we became the number two watch brand in the world, despite only shipping eight months of 2015. We're also the top selling smartwatch. But as everyone knows in here, what's really important to us is that we delight our customers. And I'm pleased to tell you that customers love the Apple Watch. Survey after survey, Apple Watch tops number one in customer satisfaction, including the most recent JD Power smartwatch study. Now, so Apple Watch has set a very high bar about what a modern watch can be. But we are just getting started. And to tell you about what is next with Apple Watch, I'd like to invite Jeff Williams up. Jeff? Thanks, Tim. We got a lot to talk about, so let's get started. In June, we previewed Watch OS 3, and it is packed with features. Your favorite apps launch instantly with information already up to date, so they're ready when you need them. There's a new dock so you can quickly access your favorite apps. And we've made it easier than ever to switch watch faces. You just swipe edge to edge. And we've added some great new faces, like, like these activity ones. Messaging is more expressive than ever with features like tap back, where you double tap a message to send a quick reply. There are fun animated stickers. You just gotta love Donald Duck. And you can enjoy full screen effects like confetti to celebrate special moments. You can also write custom replies with Scribble. And, and for those of you who are skeptical, which is probably a lot of you about writing on a small screen, you should try it. You will be amazed how well it works. And it works in, <laughs> thank you, Eddie. <laughs> and it works in both uh, simplified and traditional Chinese as well. We've added activity sharing to the watch. Closing the rings is already this fun, healthy obsession. And now you can share with your friends and family and encourage them to be more active. We have a brand new app called breathe, each day it reminds you to take a moment and do a deep breathing exercise. It's a great way to be more mindful and manage everyday stress. And we've added a really important app. It's a safety feature that allows you to contact emergency services by simply pressing and holding the side button. Within seconds, you'll be on a call with 911 or the equivalent number in the country you're in. And in addition, a message will be sent to your emergency contacts along with your location so they're in a better position to assist you. We, this is something we hope you never use, but it's really comforting to know it's there. In addition to all these great built-in apps, developers have been hard at work already on Watch OS 3. So apps like the Washington Post and Major League Soccer, they launch instantly with information already up to date. Gaming apps like Field Day take advantage of the powerful graphics tools in Watch OS 3 like Scene Kit and Sprite Kit. Fitness apps like Sweat with Kayla and P90X have 
access to real-time heart rate, and Ping will use the gyroscope to analyze and, and hopefully improve your golf swing. So, so many great apps, but there's one special one that I'm excited to tell you about today. Pokemon Go is coming to the watch. And to tell you more about it, I'd like to invite to the stage John Hinkey, CEO of Niantic Labs. Thank you, Jeff. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> it's certainly been a busy summer for us at Niantic, uh, and also for our friends at the Pokemon Company. I hope many of you have had a chance to try Pokemon Go for iPhone. If you have, you're not alone. Since we launched in early July, Pokemon Go has been downloaded more than 500 million times around the world. <clears throat> more importantly, Pokemon trainers collectively have walked more than 4.6 billion kilometers while playing the game. So Pokemon Go is about exploration. It's also about having fun outside with your family or with your friends. And because of that, we've been really interested in finding ways to enable you to play while focusing less on your screen and more on the stuff around you. That was the inspiration for this device, the Pokemon Go Plus, developed by our partners at Nintendo. It works with your iPhone to enable heads-up gameplay for Pokemon Go, and it'll be available uh, later this month. This morning, we're really excited to show you something new that we've been working on. It's designed to seamlessly blend Pokemon Go gameplay with your daily walk or run, while enabling you to focus on what's important, all the cool stuff around you. Pokemon Go on Apple Watch. I want to introduce the product manager for Pokemon Go, Tatsu Nomura, give you a demo. Thank you, John. For Pokemon trainers out there, sometimes Pokemon can hatch from the egg by walking with it. Good news, from a complication on the watch face, I can see how far I need to walk to hatch an egg. The main screen shows my current level and XP I need to get to the next. My walk is recorded as a workout. This helps me make faster progress towards my activity goals. All right, let's take a walk. During my walk, I can see how far I walk and the calories burned. At a glance, I see which Pokemon are nearby. So let's keep walking. A wild Snorlax appeared. <laughs> ah, if it wasn't for this demo, I definitely would have taken out my iPhone to catch it. Oh well, let's keep walking. When I approach a Pokestop, a tap on my wrist lets me know. Pokestops are located at interesting places, such as public artworks and historical landmarks. This one is Bill Ground. Interesting. Let's collect some items. I just swipe. Sweet, I got an Ultra Ball. With Pokemon Go on Apple Watch, I will never miss a Pokestop. Oh, I think I just earned a gold medal. This means I visited 2,000 Pokestops. That's pretty impressive. I'm going to keep walking to see if I can hatch an egg. Oh, here we are. Let's see what hatches. Yes, it's a Pikachu. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? Now that I've done walking, let's end my workout. The summary screen shows all my activity and all the items I collected along the way. Pokemon Go on Apple Watch will help you to be the very best. Thank you. Thanks, Tatsu.
We're really excited to bring you this new way to experience Pokemon Go and to give you a little extra motivation to get outside, get some exercise, and have fun with your friends. It'll be shipping before end of year. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Can't wait to get Pokemon Go for my watch. Maybe I can finally break out a level two and uh, catch my daughter. Whether, whether it's Pokemon Go or the built-in apps, uh, there are so many rich features in watchOS 3. People are going to absolutely love it. We are going to keep pushing Watch forward, and today I'm excited to introduce the next generation of Apple Watch. We call it Apple Watch Series 2, and it has been completely re-engineered. And it starts with a feature that will change how you use Apple Watch. The first Apple Watch was splash-proof, and Apple Watch Series 2 is swim-proof. So you can wear it whether you're swimming or surfing or just doing that occasional cannonball, you can keep it on. It's rated water resistant 50 meters, which is the industry standard for a swim watch. But what that means is the watch needs to withstand the pressure, the water pressure equivalent of being at a depth of 50 meters. And that's pretty deep. And uh, it's especially challenging for a smart watch because there are so many ingress points. So our engineers have been hard at work developing new seals and adhesives. And they've been able to close all those entry points except one, the speaker. You see, a speaker needs air to produce sound. And if the air can get in, so can the water, and that's a problem. So for series two, we redesigned the speaker system. And at the end of your workout, we use the speaker itself to eject the water. We also wanted to make sure Apple Watch was robust enough, not just for an occasional swim, but for people who want to swim every day. So we built a simulator to test the effects of swimming over multiple years. We put watches in here, we put watches in there from 24 hours a day for weeks at a time, simulating hundreds of thousands of strokes. So you can wear your watch with confidence in the water. We've also extended the work of our fitness lab to swimming. Now, calculating calorie burn uh, for swimming is, is really tricky. And we've analyzed over 700 swimmers, different body types, different abilities. We've hooked them up to state-of-the-art metabolic equipment. We've even drawn blood samples to look at lactic acid levels. And we've used all this body of information to create an algorithm that will give you the most accurate calorie burn information while you're swimming. And we've created two new workouts, a pool swim and an open water swim. And during the workout, you'll get information like lap count, pace, distance, calorie burn. But what's more, the watch will learn about you over time. 
and it will get more accurate over time. It looks at your individual stroke efficiency, not that of some average swimmer, and tailors just to you. We think swimmers are going to absolutely love this. Next, I'd like to talk about the brains of Apple Watch Series 2. And it starts with our second generation system in a package. Last year, we introduced an industry first, an entire system in a single package. And S2 takes that to a whole new level. We've added a dual core processor that's up to 50% faster. We've added a new, entirely new GPU that delivers two times the graphics performance. And this powerful chip opens up all kinds of opportunities, both for internal apps as well as developers. For example, Night Sky, which is it's an app that allows you to identify the planets and the constellations and track the International Space Station. They've been working with S2, and they've been able to add five times the level of detail and more than double the frame rate. They're running it at 60 frames a second, which is just a crazy amount of performance to be wearing on your wrist. Series 2 also features a new second generation display that is more than two times brighter than before. It, in fact, it is the brightest display Apple has ever shipped on any product at 1,000 nits. That's a, that's a lot of nits, and it makes, uh, it makes all the difference when you're outside in the bright sunlight. It really does, really vivid. Two of the most popular activities in the world are walking and running, and we know there's times that people want to do this without their phone. And so for those times, we've added built-in GPS. And this is really great. You can start right away. For those of you who've used a uh, uh, GPS watch before, you know it can sometimes take a long time to connect to the satellites. It seems like forever when you're getting ready to work out. And with Apple Watch, you can literally hit start and begin your workout. And during your workout, you'll get GPS accurate pace and distance. And at the end of your workout, in the activity app of your phone, there will be a route map color coded to show your varying speeds. And developers can take advantage of the built in GPS. And uh, I'd like to give you an example of that. I'd like to invite to the stage Anna Katmer, lead designer for View Ranger. Hi, I'm here today to show you View Ranger, the first ever hiking app on the new Apple Watch, which gives you the ability to enjoy a hike like you never have before. So, I'm planning a trip to Yosemite. I've never been before, but I hear it's beautiful. And with View Ranger, I've selected these three hikes ahead of time. I've got the popular, and, uh, sorry, an Apple Watch has made them available offline, which means I don't even need a cell service to know where I am. I've got the popular half dome cables on here, and at 14 miles, it's probably a bit too intense this morning. So let's take a look at the four mile trail to Glacier Point. This looks like it won't take me quite so long, and with that elevation gain, it's sure to still be a great workout. So let's get going. Here I can see my directions, and I can also scroll through to see all of the exciting views and destinations I have coming up. At any time, I can swipe right to check in on the map. I can see my current location and my route progress. In fact, at any time, if I stray too far from the path, View Ranger will let me know about it. This really wasn't possible before, but now that Apple Watch has integrated GPS, View Ranger can look out to make sure I don't stray too far off route. From here, we can check in on the map, we can get back on track, and we can continue with the hike. So let's jump forward to about halfway to the view of Yosemite Falls. And with every point of interest, View Ranger provides a quick fun fact. So let's tap into it. Here we can see that Yosemite Falls is actually a hotspot for bird watching, which is in fact one of my favorite things to do. Hopefully, we'll see a red-tailed hawk on our way towards the summit. Here we are in the final sprint as we head towards Glacier Point. And View Ranger knows when I've reached the end of the hike. I then have the option to either finish or to keep going if I'd like. We'll tap finish. 
My activities will fill up, and I'm all set to enjoy the rest of Yosemite. That's View Ranger, the first ever hiking app to take advantage of GPS on the new Apple Watch. And we're really excited for you guys to try it on your next hike. Thank you. Thanks, Anna. So, so many opportunities with the, the features of Series 2. Series 2 comes in a wide variety of styles. We have cases in aluminum and stainless steel, as well as a new material we've been working on for quite some time, ceramic. This, this new white Apple Watch in ceramic has this gorgeous pearl-like shine. It, the finish is remarkably smooth. It's actually four times harder than stainless steel. So it's this ultimate combination of beauty and strength. And it looks great paired with a variety of bands. We think it's going to be a wonderful addition to the Apple Watch family. We also are offering Series 2 in Hermes models. Last year, we partnered with Hermes, a company known for craftsmanship and elegance and style. And for Series 2, there are beautiful new colors of the iconic double tour and single tour, as well as two new bands, this single tour deployment buckle and a new double buckle cup. We think people are going to really enjoy these. So, so that's Apple Watch Series 2. It is faster. It is brighter. It is water resistant, so you can swim with it. It's got built-in GPS, and it's got all of the power of Watch OS 3. It is also built according to our strict environmental standards something we care deeply about. This is made in a responsible way. We think Apple Watch is the ultimate device for a healthy life. And we expect it to be popular with everybody, but we, we think it will be especially popular with runners. And we wanted to do something special for them we couldn't think of a better way to do that than to partner with a company that knows runners better than anyone else in the world. They're the number one sports and fitness brand in the world, and that is Nike. We've worked with Nike for over a decade, and we couldn't be more excited today to announce Apple Watch, Nike Plus. It, it's a watch designed specifically with runners in mind. It, it features this beautiful perforated band that's uh, stretchy, it's uh, light, it's breathable. It's paired with our lightweight aluminum case, which is ideal for running. And we are so excited about it. And to tell you more about this, I'd like to bring to the stage Trevor Edwards, president of the Nike brand. Good morning. Whew. It's been such a great partnership working with Apple. Apple and Nike share a passion to make life easier and more fun. And we look forward to continuing this amazing journey together. Nike has always been about inspiration and innovation for every athlete. And it all began 40 years ago with a deep relationship with runners. And that obsession continues to this day. Today, sports and fitness are a bigger part of people's lives. And more and more people want to get out and run. But getting started on your own and staying motivated can be tough. So more and more people are looking for help and turn into running devices to actually help them. But these devices are complex, they're cluttered, and they're difficult to use. And, of course, they don't support what a runner wants to do when he just wants to get out and go for a quick run. It's a problem. 
and Nike and Apple have solved it. The Apple Watch Nike Plus. This isn't just a watch, it's your perfect running partner. It's simple, it's fun, and it's easy to use. And we think it delivers the best, the best running experience that's out there. Starting a run has never been easier. And we give you a shortcut that takes you straight into your run. And if you prefer, you can just tell Siri to start a run. And off you go. It's that simple. But when you go out for a run, you don't want to be distracted. So we give you just what you need at a glance, your distance or your pace on a big, clear screen. And if you're the type, though, who really wants a lot of detail, we've always got advanced mode just for you. But one of the biggest hurdles that all runners face is actually motivation. So we started with the simple idea of an invitation. Are we running today? And we motivate you through insightful invitations personalized just for you. Been a few days since your last run? Maybe the weather isn't perfect, or it is perfect today. You can get out. And if your friends have a head start, we'll let you know. Jeff's got two miles ahead. Clearly, I got to catch up. <laughs> we also know. I do. We also know that those who run on Sundays are more active, and we'll be 